Welcome back to the channel. And as you can see right now, my FPS in 5M are anywhere between 65 and 80. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to increase that number to hopefully make this game playable. Let's get started. Now, the first step is to click the second link in the description, which is going to bring you to this post right here. This is a post in a CFX forum. CFX, if you didn't know, they are the creators of 5M. And that is why it shows this pack right here. We're about to download a low end PC pack to increase the FPS in 5M. And the reason I show this pack is because like I was saying, this pack is made by an admin of the form of CFX. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't trust those packs that you have to download from random people's discord. There is a lot of packs out there that in order for you to download, you have to go to some shady website or to somebody's discord. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying that that is wrong. I'm just saying I personally don't trust that. So once you're here on this website, all you have to do is click where it says 5M for low end PCs 2.0. Click save if you have the same option as me. If not, for you, it's just probably going to download right away. Once we downloaded the pack, I want you to go ahead and drag and drop it to your desktop. You can close from the website now. What you want to do next is find 5M, right click on it and click open file location. Well, right now I just brought up the accessory for 5M. So you're going to have to right click on it again and click open file location until you're here in this folder. This is the installation folder of 5M. Once you're over here, go ahead and click where it says 5M application data, and then put this on the side and open the file that we just downloaded. If you're using Windows 11, all you have to do is double click on that file, and then it's going to open like this. Go ahead and open this folder. And then this citizen folder, I want you to go ahead and drag and drop it into the 5M application data folder. Just drag and drop it. And it might say something like replace files. If it doesn't, great. That means that anything that needed to be added here was added. But if it does say something like replace file, Go ahead and replace it. You will close from that folder now and you could even delete the file that we just downloaded. Now go ahead and open your 5M again. And after we added the pack, as you can see, my FPS increased, but it's nothing crazy. It's just really between now 85 and 86. And look, this pack is probably going to help a lot of you that have a very low end PC and not those of you that are playing with a really good PC like me right now. I'm playing with the 3080 and a really good PC, right? I have 64 gigs of RAM and everything. so. Yeah, it doesn't really make a difference for me. However, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of the game with the settings that we're going to do next. All you have to do is press escape, head over to settings. First thing you want to do is click where it says graphics. Well, actually go to advanced graphics first, because when you change the advanced graphics, you don't have to restart the game. But first thing you want to do in here is make sure you turn off the long shadows, turn off the high resolution shadows, turn off the high detail streaming while flying, and then the extended distance scaling, get it down all the way to zero. Apply that. Let's go back into the game. And now our FPS are hovering above the 90 FPS mark. Well, right now it went down to 86, but as you can see, right now we're 90, 95, 97, close to 100. But that's not everything. We could even get more out of this game by pressing escape again, heading over to settings, over to graphics. Now you want to go here and where it says ignore suggested limits, you want to make sure it's off. Make sure you turn that option off and keep going down, lower the population density, the variety, scroll down and distance and scaling, lower it as well. We're going to scroll down and the texture budget, we're going to leave this at the max that you can. So this one, instead of lowering it, you want to increase it because you want to give the game more RAM to be able to load everything. And the texture quality, obviously, we're going to put it in the lowest. So the lowest for these are normal. Shadow quality, we're going to turn it off. Reflection quality, we're going to put it on normal. The reflection MSA, we could turn it off. The water quality, put it on normal. Particles quality, normal. Grass quality to normal. Soft shadows. Soft shadows, we could put it on soft instead of the softest. And then the post effects, we're going to put it on normal. Make sure the ambient occlusion is off. Deticillation, you could put it on off. The filtering doesn't really matter. You could leave it on existing. It doesn't make a difference. And then now we're going to apply those changes and we're going to press enter and we're going to have to restart the game. But let's go ahead and restart and let's see if we could increase those FPS. Now, as you can see, now we're hovering over 110. It goes up to like 120, as you can see. Now, the reason it's not going over that is because I don't want to cause a stuttering. And here, if you're having any lag issues or stuttering, you might want to limit your FPS. So that way it matches your screen resolution and you're not seeing a stuttering because I sometimes see comments of people saying, hey, my game is lagging or I'm seeing a stuttering when I'm playing. That's probably because you have uncapped FPS. But as you can see, we did get an increase to above 100 FPS with all the changes that we did from earlier where we were anywhere between 65 and 80. Now, how do you limit your FPS? All you have to do is let's go ahead and close the game first. I went ahead and close the game. To limit your FPS, all you have to do is open your NVIDIA control panel, right? Let's say that you have uh, an NVIDIA graphics card. If you have an AMD graphics card, just open your AMD 
a control panel. I don't know, I don't have an AMD graphics card. And then go over to manage 3D settings. If you have AMD, find something similar to this. And then where it says max frame rate, make sure you set it to the limit of your monitor. You have to know what's the screen refresh rate of your monitor. So you wanna find out what your screen refresh rate is and put the FPS on that limit. Look, there is no point on going above your screen refresh. Rate. I seen a lot of people that have a monitor that only go up to 60 Hertz, right? So they have a, a refresh rate of 60 Hertz and they put their FPS in 300, like if that was to make a difference. And it doesn't. If your monitor is capped at 60 Hertz, there is no point on putting your game anywhere above 60 FPS. Like you're not going to be able to visibly notice any difference above 60 FPS. It does absolutely nothing so i don't know why people get so mad about the fps like some people are complaining oh my fps are not above 144 bro if your monitor doesn't go above 144 which most gaming monitors don't there's no point what what are you complaining about so look capping the fps might help a lot of you to prevent the stuttering that might happen when you go above the limit of the screen refresh rate that you have. So if your monitor has 60 Hertz and you're playing at 120 FPS, you might see some stuttering on the screen because your monitor can't keep up. And I hope I explained myself there. That's another step you could take to prevent stuttering in 5M and GTA 5. Anyways, that has been everything from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.